So I got Cole up here, he's gonna help me. We're going to try to sister up these floor joists, get this floor as level as possible. I've got the laser up here, rotary laser, and uh, didn't have my Stabila, that's over in the job site trailer. Didn't really see the value in going after that, so I've got this uh, DeWalt cordless rotary laser that isn't bad, but the receiver, I never really liked the way the receiver read for long distances, but I think here in the, in the small confines of the home, it should be very visible. I think the plan here is right behind me is where the shower location is gonna be and that is the highest point of this room. And right here, this is the doorway. So the doorway that we're gonna be putting in is about a little over an inch taller than back there. And I'm hoping that since there was two layers of three quarter subfloor on this floor and the bedroom that we're joining into, if I basically go off that high point in the back, bring some sistered floor joists out level with that using the laser and put one subfloor layer on it three quarters i'm going to be able to make up almost all of that now the goal is to put hardwood flooring of some sort in the bedroom um, office area and by the time we tile in here i think we're going to be able to make up all those differences and make it very seamless um, at least as close as possible. Old homes, maybe you're not gonna always get it perfect, but an inch and a half or an inch and a quarter out here at the doorway was not acceptable for me. And to be honest, a couple hours of tear up, and I don't think this will take too long. I got Cole helping me. In fact, he's running to get a battery for my receiver. You got it? Yeah. Great, um, I think we'll make quick work of this. I've just got a rotary laser set up on a grade stick, and I've come back here. Let's turn that down a little bit. So by the time I set this uh, receiver on the tops of all of our 2x6 sister joists, we should be able to make this room perfectly level. Now the big thing is I want to make sure that where my door is going to go, I want to see how much of a difference I need to make up. Because the other alternative is I could set these sister floor joists a little low on this high area and then come through and cut them off, the high points. That way um, I try to get it exact as possible. but. You know, this isn't a big span. I'm only spanning about eight foot, actually a little bit less in this bathroom uh, from the outside wall to the interior wall. So these floor joists, they are a good old growth two by eight. I'm not really worried if I gotta take a quarter inch off of a couple of them over here in this corner. We're gonna be putting down a three quarter sub floor. What we're trying to do is make this floor in here the same as this floor. So this one has the sub floor already done. So I need to make sure that wherever I'm putting the new floor, is close. So I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it up right here at this height. What are the speakers for this thing? It's very low. Okay, yeah, we'll just turn it off. Go ahead and tighten that. Tighten it up. Okay, all right. So now that, if we set the tops of all of our floor joists to that mark, we will be good. They didn't have the advancements in technology that we did today. Is that why it's so bad? No, actually what happened was is there was no supporting wall in the basement underneath of this particular wall. So the weight so kind of, of like this ceiling, side, this of ceiling, everything kind of pushed down through the middle. You know what I think? I think we're gonna go down, I'm gonna match it there, and we're gonna shave the tops off of any floor joists yeah. that we have to, to make it, to yeah. make it perfect. How do you think about that? I think that it'll work. Oh, thanks for your confidence. You're welcome. I'm trying to make an X out of old pieces of wood right now. Distraction. Okay, so back to what you were talking about. What are we gonna do this? We're gonna make this so that... So we're gonna cut it all off to make it perfect? That's what I heard basically from the gist of your story. That's the thing, we're never gonna get it perfect. So that's why I am trying to find the most average spot this is where we're gonna go, man, right here. So what that means is that when we get back to some of these areas, we're just gonna have to probably shave off the tops. I don't think it's gonna be that bad. That's yeah. that's equal, what? If we play Fortnite tonight, do you promise you'll try and switch over to Billy Pro? I'll do what? Yeah, I'd love to. Yeah. I think what we've got is I got a bunch of eight footers and I think mm -hmm. mm, we might have to cut them down just a oh, little man. bit. I'm gonna go all the way out. So we'll be at, we'll go ahead and cut them at 92 inches. Just be careful where you're walking. Let's cut them at 92. Got it. All right, let's bring one of these boards in. Uh -huh. Wanna stand on this board? 
I can stand on the one if you want to. Mm, might be safer. So what we're going to do is I'm going to spray this stuff on here. It's like an adhesive and the goal with it, I'm not that worried about it not being strong connection, but I don't want any squeaks. So as you step on it, I don't want it to squeak wood to wood. All I want you to do is just to hold it kind of flush with the top of this hole. Okay. Does that make sense? I think so. It has to be like even with the top of this. Flush. And then I'm going to move the laser and where I screw it will be where the laser says it's level. I think after we do one, you'll be like, oh, okay. Gotta shake this up. Oh, still full of that stuff. What in the world? What's it supposed to look like? Well, that's miserable. I don't know what the problem is here. It should come out much faster than this. I might be, maybe this is old or something. This is not gonna work. All right, take it up. Now the goal, here when it's solid, mm -hmm. that's when it's good. Here, do you want to screw it in? I think I do. Just wait until I get it over here. Okay, and I'll set this on the board. And it's gotta come up. Now when I say go, when you hear that solid tone, that's when you go. Good. Look at this, this is the old electrical, which is called tube and knob, and it was garbage. Here's that, you wanna pull those nails, and I'll get the next board. I'm gonna grab a different tube of that foam, see if it's any better. At 15 bucks a tube, I'm a little disappointed in that. This says Best Buy 29 of November, so, This thing is not. There we go. That's what it's supposed to do, Cole. What? Now we're good. Now we're in the business. Oh, it can never just be easy. Nope, it was never really easy. Sure. Well, if it's easy, it's probably, probably not worth good. doing. Aha! Yeah, baby. That's how it's supposed to mm, It should be even better than that. Okay, now here's the thing with these. They have to be level, straight up and down. You can't have them to the side. Okay. Down or up? Down. 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 Straight go. Just go with it. No. Gotta be... Oh no, it felt level to me. Okay, um, right here. Level it up. Do you see how it needs to be like this and then like this? Because what would if we're like this, Cole, look, yeah. if it's like this and it rings, what happens when you take it and it goes like this? It's not the same because your board is not as long. You have to keep it as straight as possible. Otherwise, it won't be accurate. Yep, hold that. Okay, I'm gonna spray this. There, should we? Okay, it's quiet enough. That looks a lot better. It's a lot better. Is it not as best it could be though? No, I don't think so, but it's a lot better. I'm making it double rumors. Move Okay. It goes way down. Down? Down. It should be like, like Yeah, this is lame. All right, this is absolute trash. Okay, I'm gonna need that knife. Where'd you put it? Two sealants over here. The knife, I don't know. Well, you were the last one to have it because you were coming. Oh, hey, out. you're right. I did have it. See. Oh, that. That is beautiful. That is amazing. Oh, God, this is a way faster. 
what's really but nice about that gun, this tool, yeah. is that when it's done, it automatically like releases the pressure. There we go. Good? Yep. Okay, now go to the middle. There we go. Okay, other end. Seriously, I'm going to put on a belt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these pants get a little saggy on <laughs> Yeah, I can tell. I need to put on some weight, not a belt. <laughs> Thanks for giving me the heads up, though, on the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The crack. I mean, it's been happening for a few, like, hours. Yeah, I Hold it like that. Here we go. Alright. I'm already feeling better about this, man. Well, it's going way faster now that you pulled that cog gun out. I know, that's nice. You don't have that, whatever the heck that is over there. All right, me and Cole were able to get down most of the cistered floor joist. However, uh, I've got to do a little bit of plumbing work in order to finish them because I've got the old copper running alongside the joist and I want to stay on the same side on all of them. That way I've got a consistent uh, 16 inch layout. If I go on one side or the other, it's going to throw everything off. And I want to remove this copper anyway because it's not doing me any good. It was for the old vanity sink, the double vanity, and I really only need a hot and a cold. I don't need two hots and two colds. So I'm going to I'm going to basically simplify it, make it straight and come straight in versus going through the, all these floor joists like it is now. Well, now you can see the difference in height. So Basically, by going to the bottom of this plate for the wall, that planes me in with the bottom of the subfloor on the other room. So when I lay the new subfloor on top of these existing, um, or the new sister joist right here, it should be perfectly in line and in level with the other room. So you can kind of see how it's sticking up above here. And as we go down the line, it pretty much levels in, planes in, or it goes below it. So what I'll have to do is I'll shave that like top quarter inch off of these old joists um, wherever it's necessary to kind of plane everything in and make it level. But it's just on these back, very far back corners. You can see out here, it's pretty much good. So those are the two I've still got to do, but I got that plumbing to take care of. One thing at a time. Thanks for your help, Cole. Don't be discouraged if you're in the middle of a remodel job at your house and it's taking a while. It takes everyone a long time if you're doing it yourself, if you have another career. If you're not hiring it out, it just takes time. And so what I gotta do is we, we went ahead and we did the, the sister joists here on these old floor joists. However, over here in this section, back here there's two joists I could not sister yet and that is because I gotta remove a little bit of plumbing, um, remembering that there was a double vanity in this spot and we're gonna go with a single. So some of those copper pipes are in the way and I wanna move them. I'll make it ready for the new vanity. As you can tell, uh, what was a simple remodel is clearly turning into a much more complicated remodel because as you open things up, you dig deeper, you will find more things that you might as well change while you're at it. So that's what I'm doing. Today's job is to get these pipes cut open, reorganized, redone, whatever, and then ready to put subfloor back on. I still have to figure out what I'm gonna do with my toilet as I don't know where that plumbing is gonna go yet, but one thing at a time, today's task is get that done so we can get those sister floor joists done and be ready for subfloor. So today's goal is to get rid of this double uh, vanity plumbing. This copper was here from the double vanity, and now that I'm just gonna do a center sink, I've got my hot and cold plumbing coming right in this bay, and in order to finish sistering these two joists, I need to take care of this plumbing. So I'm gonna cut back the copper, I'm gonna run two new lines up for my hot and cold in my sink. I'm not a fan of going in the exterior wall. I could have probably plumbed that up and spray foamed it, but I'm just gonna have it come up the floor, and then once I get the plumbing done, I can put my sister joists in and go after the subfloor. The only thing I still have to figure out is exactly where my toilet is gonna go so I can plumb in that drain as well. So there should be a little bit of water coming out of these pipes, especially here. There's no way that has drained. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take the caps off. Just 
to go ahead and protect myself a little bit. I'm gonna throw this guy underneath. There's gonna be some water. Not too bad. This one's gonna be full of water. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and just break these down. You may be wondering why I'm using 45s. Well, simply because I don't have any 90s. What I like to do is I like to just put my fitting in. So this is basically the same height that's gonna be out over here. So I'm just gonna come up a foot above the floor. So I'm at about four inches. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this at 16 inches for my riser. Probably could be using PEX. That's what I should have been doing. But this is kind of fun. Now that I have this here, now I can measure off of my wall. I'm gonna come off the wall three inches. So I'm at 15 inches, which means I'm gonna cut my piece of pipe 12 inches. I mean, I actually like sweating on copper. I think it's cool. If I was a plumber though, I would totally invest in a, like a Milwaukee Pro Press tool. Those things are look awesome, but I don't have it. It is what it is. So there we go, that's the rough fit. I gotta throw a couple caps on there. Just turn the water back on, everything looks good. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll put my floor joist, sister joist next to this guy, and then I'll install these. I just don't want, I want these to be out of the way as much as possible. I have some movement in them right now, so we'll just kind of keep them away so I can put that in. I got the floor joists all done, and that means I'm basically ready for subfloor. However, I don't know where I'm gonna put that darn toilet. I was originally gonna put it up against this wall back over here uh, in front of the old door, but that's where a vent stack, once I tore up the floor, I found a vent stack that's going right through that cavity. I don't know if I can move it. However, it's gonna probably take a little bit of creativity to figure out where exactly that toilet's gonna go. And like most things in my life, they're gonna be cut short because I've got some other stuff to do and I'm gonna have to put a hold on the remodeling. I don't think I got time for that right now. So um, yeah, we'll see you, I don't know, maybe in another episode. 